Welcome to the spoken tutorial on input and output control. In this tutorial, we will learn about IOCTL function and data transfer between user space and kernel space using IOCTL function. To record this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox 5.2 Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system, Linux kernel version 5.0.0-31 generic, gedit text editor. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C programming language, basics of Linux kernel, if not, then go through the C C++ and Linux Spoken Tutorials on this website. It is mainly used to handle some specific operations of a device. For example, IOCTL function can be used to rewind a tape drive. By default, the kernel does not have a system call for such device operations. In this tutorial, we will learn to transfer data to the driver using the IOCTL function. The user program test.c will send and receive integer data to and from the driver. Go to the device driver folder in the desktop which we have created earlier. I have created a directory named IOCTL. I have saved simple underscore driver dot c make file and test dot c files. I will use these files for demonstration. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Open the terminal by pressing Alt, Ctrl and T keys simultaneously. Go to the directory where IOCTL is saved on your system. Press Enter key after every command. Type gedit space simple underscore driver dot c. We have already learned the open, close, read and write operations on a device. I have defined the required code to implement the IOCTL functions. We have to include the IOCTL.h header file. The macros used in the IOCTL functions are defined in this header file. Write and read commands are defined with the macros as shown here. IOW specifies the write command operation. Magic is an 8-bit magic number which is unique to this driver. 1U specifies the unique command number. It should not be used by any other driver. INT represents the data type of the command argument. I have used M as the magic number in our driver. For other magic numbers, refer to this website. I have declared two variables X and Y. Data from the user space will be stored in the variable X. Similarly, Data stored in Y variable is passed to the user space. We have to write the IOCTL function protocol at the start of the program. Add an IOCTL function pointer my device underscore IOCTL in the file operation structure. Let us see the IOCTL function now. It has Three parameters as shown here. 
f is the file descriptor of the appropriate device file. IOCTL underscore NUM is the IOCTL command that is called from the user space. IOCTL underscore PARAM is the argument passed from the user space. According to the user IOCTL function commands, the switch case will be executed. Copy underscore from underscore user will copy the user IOCTL parameter to the kernel space variable x. Copy underscore to underscore user function will copy the value of variable y from the kernel space to the user space. Our program is ready with IOCTL function definitions. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Let's open the user program. Type gedit space test.c. This program will pass the arguments and commands to the driver. We have to define these commands similar to the driver commands. We will use them in the IOCTL function. The integer type variables g and h are defined as shown here. We will use them later on in this code. Open function opens the new underscore device. If it fails, then it will display the failure message and terminate the program. The user IOCTL function will internally call the driver's IOCTL function. You can use the IOCTL system call only after opening the device file. The first parameter is the device file descriptor number. And the second parameter is the command that needs to be executed. The third parameter is the argument to the driver. It will display the negative value on failure. We will pass any integer at runtime to a driver using the argument g. Similarly, we pass the get underscore data command to IOCTL function. After execution of this function, we will get the data from the driver in h variable. The close system call will close the new underscore device file. The printf messages will display the respective information on the terminal. Save and close the file. Switch back to the terminal. Clear the screen. Let us create a make file to compile our driver. Type gedit space make file. Copy the code as shown or you can use downloaded make file. Close the file and switch back to the terminal. Now let us compile the driver. Type make space all. Clear the screen. Type sudo space su to be a super user and type the system password. Let's now load the driver. Type insmod space simple underscore driver dot ko. Clear the screen. Let's compile and execute the user program. Type gcc space hyphen c space test dot c. Type gcc space hyphen o space test dot out space test dot o. Type dot slash test dot out. The output message 
shows that the device is opened successfully. Now, type the integer value that you want to pass to the driver. I will type 500. The output shows the data copied from the driver to user space variable H. The print message shows that the device is closed by close system call. Clear the screen. Type the DMESG command as shown here. The output shows that the IOCTL function of the driver is executed. It shows the data from the user space is copied to the kernel space driver variable X. Clear the screen. Let us unload the driver. Type rmmod simple underscore driver dot ko. Clear the screen. Type exit. In this tutorial, we have discussed IOW and IOR macros. To know more about other commands, go to the directory asm hyphen generic as shown. Let us open the IOCTL.h file. Type CAT IOCTL.h. You can get more details about other commands from the IOCTL.h file. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned IOCTL function, data transfer between user space and kernel space using IOCTL function. As an assignment, compile and load simple underscore driver dot C. Compile and execute test dot C. Pass a different integer value as per your choice. See the output using DMESG command. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSI and Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. This is Usha signing off. Thanks for watching.